And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Sometimes the busiest... Sometimes the studio's busy on a pre-tape. Yeah, a lot going on. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson, and this is the motherfucking Lost Tapes. The mofo Lost Tapes. Uh, I got a little bit of a head cold thanks to my road boo, Shane Gillis. Yeah, you guys, seems like you had a blast. I'm glad it's worked out for you. I tell you this, we got to stop eating butt after shows. Jacob, how you feeling? Sick. How you feeling after our weekend? Great. Right? Almost energized. Yeah. I never, I really feel Some good. love energizes, some love zaps. I have, we have the love that zaps. Okay, Ralph knows how to throw it down, doesn't he? He does. Snacks. Great apartment. Jacob was very. The whole day. I could feel Jacob. How is Ralph's apartment now that gas isn't in there? It's great. I mean, well, it's just like, I mean, I was there with a bunch of people, so it's hard to tell, but it looks the same. But he, uh, he did, I forgot taking Jacob there for the first time. Like, Ralph's got a pretty. Dude, he's got an Pretty elevator cool place, that opens yeah. into the apartment. That yeah, is I've the luxury. Little... It's not a huge place. It's not that it, but like everything, like the bathrooms aren't like holy shit. But everything is like nice. Like the floors yeah. are nice. Dude, I'm telling you, man, New York City. If you, have an, nice. if you have an apartment that opens into, if you have an elevator that opens into an apartment, you, you've made it. You're yeah, doing alright. Yeah. Cool. He's got nice wood floors. Got yeah. a, you know what he's got that I love space. in a nice apartment? Space, Center Island. Yeah, that's love Center Island. Center Island. Center Island became also. Um, the leaves go up, and then it becomes a pretty big table for people to sit yeah. at. And my mom, I remember growing up, Trish was always, uh, like, her thing was we'd go house shopping on the weekends. Cause she'd want to, like, look at houses, even though she couldn't afford them. Free st- I mean, just go to open houses. Because my mom wanted to move into Denver. <laughs> yeah, I love you, dude, did you? Yeah. She I love you, man, do you? Yeah, I loved you, man. But she would go with, uh, that's what me, my mom, and my stepdad would go looking for a house because my mom was trying to move to Denver. And it was like, maybe we can do it. We stayed in Aurora. But we had to go to so many fucking open houses, and my mom was always like, Center Island. Oh, they have a Center Island. And I didn't even know what it was. And then after she started bringing it up, I'm like, we ha- we got a Center Island in the house we, this, the house we moved to in Aurora. And I was like, yeah, like oh, like, this like, is like a, like a fixed one? or yeah, a fixed a... one in the kitchen. Okay. It was right in the middle. You know, it was it was not that big, but it was just right in the middle of the kitchen. You're like, okay. and that's where I had breakfast and like would have my cereal every morning and watch TV. And I'm like, got to get a Center Island. So when I saw that at Ralph's house, you rarely see him in New York. Yeah, he, he has, has to have, he has has have the, a nice apartment to have. But one. he also has the movable one. It's on wheels. Oh. It's not a fixed center island. I thought it was fixed. Center island in a, in a kitchen, you got a great place. You got a Dream. real That's great a place. Center island? Are we, at the, are we officially nice this? Giant center island. I think you can call us the center cooking. island boys. <laughs> yeah. With uh, the Z at the end. Center island is really great. Not even for eating at. That's Dan White garbaged up his center island, okay, which I would have done too. I also played with my guys there. <laughs> yeah. Also, <laughs> it was also a landscape for your guys. Yeah, dude. It was a fucking, ma- it was an island ring. You could get knocked off the island. I mean, you know how intense that made oh, fights? Oh, man. I'll tell you what. A lot of my guys, when I would have fights with my guys, there was boundaries. There was borders to it that if you went out of that border, something other bad was going to happen. <laughs> See what I mean? So my other guys would get involved. Oh, do you think I'd put guys on the ground? For yeah. To fall off the island? Oh, yeah. I had guys waiting outside. Hey, lumberjack. For one of those guys to get out of the boundaries. That's and called then a, the other guys would just house him. In the wrestling world, that's called a lumberjack match. My mind would technically go to the hero being thrown out, though, attacked by a lot of people. Yeah, and, then him, and then him winning against all those guys to get back to his thing. It all ended up probably being for a girl. And why didn't anyone <laughs> tell that Sirius hired Mo from Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> or Mo from Mo of the Three Stooges? Yeah, or Who Mo that? Three Stooges. The Three Stooges. The new engineer. I've never seen him before. I'll tell you, can I tell you while we're figuring out the tech stuff here, my elevator thing, I'll tell it to you now. It's, do you want to do it now? It was pretty great. It's okay. not, I don't know if it's a long conversation. It's okay. just great elevator behavior. I got it and I pushed 36th floor. Opened up right away. Empty. This time coming up, it's pretty empty. It's pretty usually. Great. Yeah. Usually get up in one shot, which I did, but right. somebody else was going to the 36th floor. It was a tall, thin guy, slicked hair, but on top it was very thin. It was, it was, he was combing over. Jacob winced like you immediately know who that is. No, no, no. I'm just telling everybody. I know it. how everyone tries to cover it up. It makes me sad. It was, oh, bulk- here's the hilarious. thing. If he just combed, if it was, if it wasn't so, look, I'm a guy who puts a bunch of product in my hair, so, but this guy had product and had it like combed, slicked. Thin. But it was very thin. It yeah. Was like, it was It was very bald. I call that, I call that hair fog. But, but a lot of little hair, does that make sense? Yeah. It's, it just, wasn't, you wouldn't describe him as bald. It's the way you see fog lay on a lake. Yes. Yeah, dry ice like, hair. Yeah, dry ice. <laughs> you have dry ice hair. Yeah. Hey, you have spooky Halloween hair. <laughs> Are you going to can we put you on my front fucking porch to make the trick-or-treating here? <laughs> he has in buds, earbuds, and connected to his phone with a wire. 
um, interesting always, and comes in. I have a wire, so watch And this is the opposite of what happened with you, Dan. This guy comes over and starts, gets in, sees me, acknowledges me. Yeah. I have my headphones on, too. And then he starts, like, uh, yes. air guitar. But, like, he's trying to find the legit, like, like you know, his because it's not even his strum hand. It's the legit of his finger hands, like yeah. the, the, the fret. The right he's, he's trying to get the cord. The fret hand, right. He goes, yeah, he goes, he goes, yeah, yeah. And then I see him grab his phone and look at it much closer and with his right hand. So, and by the way, I'm looking at the phone too. It's yeah. just the name of whatever's playing. I don't know what it what, is. Is it like heart? I don't know. Yeah, I can't right. see. I just see that it's like a screen. Yeah. It's like the whatever. And he listens and he's looking up in the air and he starts just with now not legit chords, just doing like a, like he's up on the neck, just doing the dough. He does that a few times, and then he just and then he nods, takes the earbuds out, and puts them in his pocket, and then just never talked or anything. Just he nailed it. But it was like he had to finish. He goes, he goes "Sorry, man, I had to finish that solo. I <laughs> wish you would have said that." He went like, he, but in his head, he's probably like, "Okay, so he's going up the neck. There it is, and doodly, 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 and we're done. Yeah, that's it." That's I what felt I like it was. was much more to show me that he was drilling it the chords. One hundred percent was, and I bet he doesn't even play the guitar. Weird confidence. Tall, thin guy, probably in pretty good shape. That bald thing is probably weighs exactly. on him. Yeah. But he spends a lot of time. He's like, watch me rock it real quick. He goes, this guy's a rock and roller. He gets in. He's like, let me show him I'm no square. Diddly, 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 diddly. Yep, goes, oh, that's right. Show this guy I know what's up. And then my way around the neck of a guitar. I was thinking the, the guys that are rapping out loud without anyone hearing it, and they're terrible, but they just have their headphones on, and they're just like, walk around looking for your bitch. Oh, man. I'm coming for you. Come looking for your bitch. And you're like, dude, do you know how fucking dumb you look right now? Like, I, I see teenagers do it all the time on, like, the train. Well, they'll be waiting there and they're like, fucking pistol glock to your head, potty popping. And you're like, dude, you fucking retard. You look like an idiot. And they're just standing at the doors. Right, I've seen it a lot. It's such an aggressive, like, challenge of other people around. It is. It's very bizarre. I just like to do an air drum, but I just do this. When I air drum in the elevator with one other person, I just go... <laughs> when I hear someone rapping on a thing, I start dancing behind him and go, I'm like, uh, oh, 95, y'all. Dude, 95, y'all. How awesome would uh, it be to hype, uh, to hype uh, man uh, yeah. them? When you're like, oh, uh, oh, oh, I got your bitch. Like, what are you doing? I, I wish you knew the song, if he knew the song he was doing yeah. oh, too. Dude. So he goes, cause he's going like, got a pistol pointed at you, at your motherfucking head. Like you're helping hey. him out with it. Yeah. And he's like, what the fuck? That's right. Here we go again. Uh, uh, just P. Diddy him. Dude, that's what everyone should start doing. Just P. Diddy someone if they're rapping in public. Uh, uh, can't yeah. stop. Won't stop. Right. Get on the train. Uh, yeah. Uh, climb to the top. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's from the documentary. All the way in the top. Um, so uh, anyways, yeah, that's the white dude version of rapping with your headphones on. It was so weird. It's just doing this. I'm, 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 I'm like, there's no reason reason to do it. I would be, I would be embarrassed to go. What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna, if, if I, I nod you, my head a little bit. If I, I, my, I give my head a little, little head nod. If I'm you should it. have uh, practiced front man moves in front of him. I'm like, mm, mm, <laughs> uh, loving on that, and you go. Yeah. You're like, I can't work an instrument. You go, but my fuck is, so if you don't mind, put my foot up on the uh, elevator rail here. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I'm sorry, I got a scream core show this weekend. And he goes, No, it's cool, man. I was just wondering. Would you want to do an air band together? I go, I do have some free time on Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> I got a garage. What's your practice schedule look like? Yeah. Is your mom cool with practicing? I'll come out to Long Island. We can jam. Oh, man. one of the, Do you have the bring up American Dads? The air guitar scene is just so great. It's so perfect. I feel like. And they have the air jam band. This feels so weird because we're doing the Lost Tapes where we always do it. Ben and Deb's second studio. And we're next to our old Studio 5, and they have banners up, and we can't look in. This is like when I drive by the house I grew up in, and I try to look through the fence by driving fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, and you're like all right, all right, deck's still there. How is this it? Yeah, play this, turn this up. We'll put this out at the bonfire at 6 7 This Twitter. is you and the guy in the elevator. <laughs> there, that's what the guy was doing in the, in yeah, the, in the, the elevator part right there. Dude, you should have just done this next to him. Like played, like played like you were playing your guitar, Adam. 
This is great. <laughs> my only possession! <laughs> <laughs> he throws, his, he throws his radio and he goes, my only Best possession! Shit in the face-to-face. Probably like one's playing rhythm, the other one's and playing lead. Wow, wow, wow. People get really involved in that air shit. Yeah, there's like a whole documentary about it. Maybe that guy is just like a world-renowned air guy. I mean, he's coming to Sirius. Oh, he's on his way up here. You did? <laughs> Did you guys, was Philip Hackford on the list today as the world's most renowned? Oh my god. Fingers Phil Hackner? Oh, you dig? <laughs> you dig? Um, I, there's literally a spot on my back. If I touch with a knuckle, I could just cry in front of all of you. You guys want me, you want to have an emotional drama scene right now? Show me where that spot please, is. Please, <laughs> I will not reveal it to Christine. Oh. She knows. She knows all right. well, you know how today. Christine knows how to push the button. I go, hey, Christine, did you eat all the leftovers? I usually don't have problems at work. That's why I'm, I gotta go to a chiropractor. I'm not a, or get like a, what do you call it? What do they do? Bacchiotomy. Who's the doctor? What kind of doctor is for that? You don't call it a back doctor. Yeah. Orthopedic surgeon? Orthopedic doctor. Right? Orthopedic. Yeah. My shit's all, I, I'm so I afraid. got the guy for you. Really? Ooh, you're ready to talk for real. Buddy, I'm ready to talk. I oh. bet they're going to go on my spine's going to look like my something silly, the, like a fucking bed Yankees. coil. He works on huh? the Yankees. Yeah. You want the guy? Oh, I get it. Wink, wink. You're saying he's going to tug me off at the end? <laughs> oh. Yeah. The old Yan- yeah, he also works for the squirts, the Yankee Yank squirt squirts. Huh? What are we doing here? He works for the uh, Yankees, if you know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Can you give me some fucking orthopedics for my shoes? I got flat feet work that way. Doesn't work that yeah, way. Yeah, it does. That's how I got mine, motherfucker. Orthopedist? Oh, yeah. You need a Pet podiatry. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid, and I deserve <laughs> flat man, feet. You, want a back you go to a foot doctor for your back information? Yep. Jesus, Dad. Well, it's all you linked. all screwy. It's all linked, dude. He goes, I think my Follow vision's getting tr- blurry. I gotta hit the dentist. I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my dentist has such a fake tan that I don't trust him. <laughs> my dentist is my manager's father. And um, he's great, right? He's great. fantastic dentist. Yeah, he's great. Uh, Does he, he take insurance? He lives his life. Yes. Lives it's, it's a trip though to Where? Journey. It's about an hour away. Damn. Yeah. Queens. It's like three bucks. I'm gonna get my new teeth. But uh, he speaks 100 percent in puns, which is hilarious. That is funny. Especially when you have all that stuff in your mouth and you gotta go. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have this fiery lady that works for the the guy in Queens, and she just tells me everything I'm doing wrong. She goes, you flossing? You flossing with those sticks, aren't you? Yeah, you're hiding your gums. That's why they're all bloody right now. She goes, you know what? Take some baby aspirin. You should take baby aspirin. It's good. What are you, 35? Take baby aspirin. And then he comes in and he goes, no cavities. And I go, really? And he goes, do your teeth hurt? And you're like, why are you asking me that? <laughs> He's like orange. He starts running out. Last time I came, actually, he goes, no cavities. I'm like, dude, I've had cavities every time I've gone to the dentist since I've been going to the dentist. And he's like, now why? Do your teeth hurt? And you're like, why are you asking that follow-up question? You should be more fucking confirmed. Oh, you know, the whole thing, they, they file your teeth down for the thing I'm getting. So he's made a lot of like, you know... He goes, let me check your files. It's like that kind of thing. Oh, it's dude. Great. It's so great it's perfect for the fucking off laugh. Oh, yeah. So he's like, oh, maybe yeah. I'll put some of your information in your files. Yeah, it really is like that. The whole, But it's great. They're so sweet. And yeah, they do a good job. Damn, I might have to Well, I say them. they do a good job. He's done a good job so far. We'll see what these new teeth look like. They're coming well, up with some big crazy chicklets. Say this. Hey, everybody. Um, he goes, it's you're a gonna, bit of a botch job. Matt Dill- I don't know what to say. It's my manager's dad. Matt Dillon and something about Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking, sure? like, just, I gotta come in one day and just give you guys my real estate agent card. Yeah. They, I'm worried that my teeth are just gonna be dead and I'm gonna go to another doctor and they're gonna be like, this, hey, that guy wasn't even a dentist. <laughs> that guy sold fucking tanning machines out the back of it. You've been going to a tanning booth maker. Yeah. I'll take those though. Yeah, those are nice, Matt Dillon. I got a problem with them. It was all the smiles. You're I right. wouldn't be walking around like that in a Hawaiian shirt like an asshole. <laughs> Those goofy bastards are just about the best thing I've got going in this crazy world. <laughs> you really forget how fucking funny of a movie that is. I mean, Some scene American by scene. Right, yeah. it's that, was fucking... a, that was Farley Brothers' first biggie, right? Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. He's got a forehead like a drive-in movie theater, but he's a good shit. So we don't bust his chops. <laughs> um, well, this is a great Lost Tapes because it's something that we previewed and that we knew we were going to get into. And for once, it's something that I did more work, or me and Black Lou. Black Lou, you watched the whole documentary. Yeah, I definitely watched it. Like, you went was, front to back. Great. You drank the whole Informative, thing. Informative, too. Informative. Mm-hmm. You liked it. You liked everything they were saying. Because I think they kind of started running a circle. And the documentary we're talking about is an HBO documentary called Swiped. Me and it's, Christina the stop or I was going to break my television. Yeah, you can watch it on HBO Go. You can watch it probably on HBO Now. It's it's definitely on demand if, you, if you're if you an HBO oh, subscriber. If you're on HBO on demand, it's like on the home page. That's a yeah. good thing, yeah. 
and it's a documentary about uh, the dating apps and hooking just up in the digital age. Hooking up in the digital age is what the subtitle is. Um, there are some infuriating people in this documentary, which shows there he is. That's the first guy that just fucking really. So, I mean, do you want to just jump into the documentary and we'll just go scene by scene? Because there's stuff that I want to offshoot. Like we, we will offshoot for sure. I mean, I'll just say the idea. Understand I'm coming into watching this and that I was never single in the age of dating apps. And I, I haven't. Know. So me and Christine dicked around with the threesome one a little bit, but it's yeah. borderline worthless. Yeah. So they're, Actually, I'm borderline. If it's get, yeah, go back a little further. To, if to you're a chick borderline. looking for dick, probably it would work nightly for you. Anything, but that's so they uh, cover they cover a wide range of topics in this documentary. They talk they talk from a woman's perspective, from a man's perspective, from a gay man's perspective, from a gay woman's perspective. They kind of cover it's all, all the, the same guy. It's always <laughs> all the white dudes look all the same. So I get it. But there, I haven't dated a lot during the dating app thing. Like I've met two girls off dating apps, off two apps. You jumped on Bumble for a little bit. I did. Yeah, you I did. Raya. The, what's the Illuminati one? That was Raya. Raya. I did that first. And uh, then I did Bumble, and then I just have just been out, you know. Do you have any, I know you hate talking about this stuff at all, do you have any, like, just like late night, like, girl came over, fucked off with one of those apps, and then it's never always, saw her again? Dude, I'll tell you this, more than any app, it was be, it's been from the restaurant industry. What? Like, meeting people that would come over and just hook up like oh, that. No, no, oh, no, I, I, I know you have off. in your life, I'm oh, saying, yeah. in, 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 uh, everyone's no. fucked a one-off in their life. Yeah, 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 but not, uh, as far as dating apps go, I never used, I never... I don't know. I never did that. I never was like, just you want to just come over and fuck. I was. I set up. I think I maybe went on a total of four dates on two apps, and they were all set up and formal. One of the lines I have in one of my bits where the woman was like, "I say I got set up on a date by a friend, but really it was from an app." And she was like, "Do you mind if I bring my two cats?" And I was like, "What the fuck?" My, my mind's real big, lady. Real big. And I was like, "Ah, yeah, that's a big problem." I'm allergic to so yeah. cats. Know people who bring cats on dates. By the way, where I met her for the date at the park is the dude that fucking Jacob hates is there with his girlfriend later in the documentary. Because I was like, where do I know that park? I was like, that's in Same Greenpoint. Spot. I went to that park with the... She's a very nice girl. We had a great day, but it was it was, it was strange. With her cats? Your, your cats did show up. It was a great date? It was fun. It was a nice conversation. She was interesting. Well, for the sweater manufacturing business? or Yeah. <laughs> she was British. She goes, we talked about calendars for about three hours. We talked about yarn a lot. Cat calendars. We talked about laser pointers mostly. I think she was a cat inside a human suit. She took a half hour to explain the difference between Heathcliff and Garfield, so <laughs> pretty versed on that. That made me furious. I brought up Hobbs. She threw her drink in my face. Uh, she told me that the comic strip Kathy was a lot deeper than some people think. And that the jokes resonate with her. Uh, that kind of <laughs> <word>. <laughs> anyway. The jokes really hit with her. Uh, she asked me if I want to go to a Thundercats, uh, like a fluffering, what is it, what are those called? Where you dress up in your fucking costumes? Furries. Furries. A furry costume. He goes, it was really, the day was going really good until her mom showed up. And then uh, she had to hang out with us for a while. Do you know that humans like wet rugs? <laughs> uh, her mom's a hoarder, so we had to help her clean her house for a half hour. That was pretty fun. I found a rib cage of what I believe to be a small cat <laughs> or a bird. <laughs> Something, uh, I think something with wings. <laughs> there was a lot of wing bones in her garage floor. So this is the Good first one, guy. Lou. Cats song from Cats and my favorite Barbra Streisand song. Cut. Deep cuts. Lou Ritzky. Let's go to the documentary. This is the first guy who... Uh, you're, a young, you're a young man to think that memory is deep cuts. I don't know, dude. It's first. That's right out of the gates, baby. <laughs> never seen Cats. That's Cats and Barbra Streisand. Classic. Cool. Dude, I don't, I'm sorry. You gotta... I never saw Cats ever in my life, but I've seen a commercial for it at least. I've heard Memory. I didn't know that was Memories. That's how I know it, from the Winter Garden Theater. I was just trying to move this conversation along. How's Memories go? Memories. I have so many memories. <laughs> I know memories. Memory. I don't know. This guy thought Freedom Williams was the girl from uh, CNC Music Factory. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's a great response. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm stupid. stupid. Anyway, who listens to CNC Music Factory? I'm a Reagan baby. Dork. I'm a fucking Ronald Reagan baby. <laughs> Fuck you. Old ass Jimmy Carter baby. Jimmy Carter bitch. <laughs> Get your fucking old ass peanut farmer baby ass out of here. You're old now. I'm what's up. I'm the cool. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Freedom Williams is a chick now. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Oh. Y'all don't know. Everybody dance now. Here is the bowl. Don't. Now boom. I'm a girl. Dude, that was so <laughs> Jump what to the rhythm. Do? Jump. Jump to the rhythm. Jump. Jump. My wiener doesn't bounce. My wiener doesn't bounce. You got to pee. It's gone. Sitting down. Sitting down. All around the town. 
You used to have a penis. Now I don't. So this is the first. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Take your piss. Powder on your pee. You're in the ladies' room. Uh, Bam. Boom, 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 boom. I'm starting to sweat, dude. Fucking like Jordan in the playoffs. Play with the flu. Play with the flu. Uh, Jacob brought up the documentary because you said there was this one dude in particular that you fucking hated. Yeah. You made him stop jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> he jerks to dog. <laughs> I love knowledge. Knowledge makes me full. In the- <laughs> I get off on documentaries. Oh, man. When someone drops a fact I don't know about, watch out. As I, I mentioned before, you hear him. You hear his guitar, his soulful well, guitar before me. you actually Well, you didn't tell him. me. Through most of his uh, interview. So- let me explain this. You didn't tell me that until I asked. The reason I texted you and asked is because you said you hated this guy so much. And about minute right here, minute five, five minutes in, five minutes and forty five seconds in, you meet a guy where I'm like, oh, this is the guy that Jacob hated. Me too. And it's not him. So why are you playing the same the thing? I was like, everyone's so hateable on this. Yeah. The women are. The stupidest gaggle of broads I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, they really just lament on something where you're like, you're walking into this. You're choosing this. It's all about sex on these things. Christine, you're rolling your eyes. Are you agreeing or rolling your eyes? Or are you looking like uh, you disagree with me? I mean, we were pretty on the same page watching no, it. No, we are. They're just all kids. They're all stupid. Yeah. Like, it's all kids. And then they... they oh, just wait. They, There's a group oh, of guys. Oh, I can't wait for yeah. Christine to see. Christine's, Christine's, wearing, Christine's wearing her fucking Blanche Golden Girls cape today. So she's like, <laughs> these young girls, I don't know. They're just <laughs> giving it away. I don't know. In my day, it was different. A man would take you dancing to the ballroom in the supper I club. I wish <laughs> I made the, the worst mistakes before dating apps. Yeah, you looked like Blanche when you were a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you were the Blanche of the neighborhood. Dude, always be Blanche. Live life like Blanche. <laughs> be... Blanche. Be Blanche or Mona. Always be Mona. Or Andy. Or Andy. Andy, Mona, or Blanche. <laughs> now, those are some golden girls. Oh, Mona, yeah. Mona was just getting pounded out in a garage apartment. It's so weird that in the 80s and 90s, they just you were allowed to have these matriarchal characters that were rampant sluts. Just like Did Blanche fuck? and fucking... Did she want to fuck Tony at any point? I mean, I think she kind of was it, co- it, was, it was it like... Uh, she made references to was his Was it an underlying thing that she was into him at all? Oh, man, do you yeah, think he she took... Would've. Yeah. She definitely would have. She didn't make a proposition on him, but she would have. How how desperate were they for characters of good actresses to make his long-term sexual tension be with fucking Judith Light? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, respect to Judith Light, though. I met her at a voiceover studio. She still got it. Does she still have it? Because no. on SVU, <laughs> she looks like a dude judge, and they have her be a judge, and she looks like a firm lady her whole life. Yeah, but I don't know. For some reason, that scene where he walked in on her on the shower, I've never been more turned on by someone's back. Yeah, Angela. Like shoulders, Angela. The shoulders, knees, back. Yeah, yeah goddamn it. right it does. Me and Witzke were both. But, Bush. Oh, oh no. boy. Angela. Uh, Angela. I'm, I'm standing there. I gotta go downstairs and get sucked off by Mona. We gotta see what's <laughs> right there. I go to her garage house and I bang her out. <laughs> Mona, you got me all goosed. Your daughter's doing it. Now it's your business to finish. Uh, yeah. You'll pay the price for her. Oh, dude, how great would that be if there was a fucking, if they did a, uh, Who's the Boss movie in 2018? But it was a trial because Danny said that Tony touched him. Oh, yeah. That's how he got uh, AIDS. Oh, dude. Does he have AIDS? Does Danny Pintaro have AIDS? He does, right? Uh, we looked this up, I know, well, forever ago. Yeah. I'm going to not answer This was eight that. studios ago. Mm-hmm. Danny Pintaro. Danny I mean, Pintaro. Christine, do you not even know the name of the B characters from Who's the Boss? It's like you don't even care about programming from our childhood. I mean, what the fuck? Do you not go back to things but again, before your time to I, make sure that I know? Christine, this is another Reagan baby talking to you. I just P- want to say. Pintaro. Oh. P- oh. You know what? <laughs> By the way, if he was any more famous, it would have said, did you mean Danny Pintaro? I mean, poor she guy. She didn't spell it wrong enough to... Yeah, Google should have corrected it. Oh, there it is. He's HIV, HIV positive. positive. And that is from 2015. Hell poor guy. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. Jonathan. Jonathan, did you go through my... <laughs> were you going through my dirty needles, Jonathan? <laughs> Jonathan, I told you anonymous sex behind the gay stations was going to cause this. Why did I tell you what? I caught you doing it the first time when I was your male nanny. <laughs> Jonathan, I tried to talk to you when I was your male nanny. <laughs> <laughs> when you looked in on me on the shower, I told you, Jonathan, this is not a good way to live your life. All right, let's go to this documentary. This is the first guy that just fucking... I thought this was the guy that Jacob hated. To activate ancient biological parts of our yeah, behavior they do. as we've used the internet and as we this guy's technology. this guy's got a lot. I like this guy. It does suggest as, as the a platform. Um, it is totally novel. It is totally unprecedented. 
there he is. 40 million Americans use online dating. Go to six minutes in. I'm That's missing right. out. Ages eight, they spend an estimated ten hours a week on dating apps. Pause it, Lou. Before we get to this guy, Lou, how much? Jump in. How much Let's hours? Jump in the dating app yeah, world. Let's just see what's you, out there for. Hold us. on, Lou, Lou Witzke, You would say you spend about ten hours a week? Easily. Ten hours a week talking to your Easy. Olgas and your. I'm horny. I watch. Yeah, Lou I watch him. I watch him spend four hours a day. Fertile. <laughs> Fertile Lou. Fertile Lou Witzke. Jacob, are you on dating apps? Yeah. Do you spend ten hours a week? Ten hours. I quite. I mean, I swipe a lot. You're swiping. You swipe. Swiping Lou. Well, look, swiping Lou and swiping these guys, Jacob. These guys describe it as, and I can see getting that becoming like a thing for sure because at a point, and only one girl acknowledges it, but you're keeping seven conversations going it's at once. It's exhausting. Oh, I do do not know how the fuck you guys do it because that was the thing. And each that, one, you, you, you probably... How, much everyone would check out right away when they'd see how much in a thing like that you'd copy and paste. Uh, no, not much. Just hanging out, looking for some fun. Yeah, Push, yeah. copy. Uh, my question to Black Lou is: How upset that you're out of the game with this? How much did dating app time did you get in? Because I feel like you would just dominate in the dating game. I mean, it was fun, it, but it, it was like this in the sense of where we really were just talking to hook up. Yeah, and then after that, you know, we'll see right. what happens, but. Normally, so, this shit is just for hooking up. You think yeah. it's just purely for hooking up? It's what Definitely. it should be yeah. for. But yeah. I, I think long term, it does kind of hurt your looking, like how you look for people. I mean, when I got off it, when I got off dating apps, it was just, there was just kind of this thing of like, fuck, I am alone. And you're like, I got to meet people. And then I was, just, you know, I don't want to date someone that's in comedy because no, me, it's just, just a thing. But, but you'll meet people. But at, you do. You listen, do. And then listen, you do. You're I mean, probably going to meet somebody. The girl I'm dating, I met just, you know, I just met her. I was just like, oh, fuck, hi, nice to meet you. Cool. Let's hang out. And then we hung out. But was it after a comedy show? Yeah. But that's the thing. But, it doesn't but I never, I, 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 it was the thing. Oh, you I, should open your mind to that. Yeah. That's an important thing. But it was just a thing. That's a weird she, thing to cut off. Well, she approached me in the right way where she was just kind of like, hey, you want to get, like, my friend and I are going to go get food. Do you want to go get food with us? It wasn't like, go out with us. It was like, hey, we're going to get food. Do you, it was like an option. Like, do you want to go? And I was like. Yeah, I'll go. The worst is the person that tells you they're like, yeah, option. You know what I mean? Like the what do you mean? just like the person that comes up after the show, or they try to like the, the negging is what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're kind of like I, I thought you. I, I thought you were okay, but they're just wanting you to talk to them because I thought you were okay. And it's like, all right, gee, there's but that'll girl. never win me over. I'm already so insecure. Goes, I thought it was okay. I'll, if she's thinking I'm going like, ooh, this girl's playing coy. I'm like, what a fucking bitch. Who says that to somebody? <laughs> I had the same <laughs> in Philadelphia. Be there she goes, that girl like likes you. She's like trying to think. I go, really? Because I want to fight her. Dude, Why is she attacking the one thing I think I am pretty good at? When I was in Philly, this girl goes, I guess you are funny. And I was like, did I not do well? And then I was like, fuck, I don't know. That crowd said, fuck, I got to write more. It probably 99% like, of the time means they want to fuck you. And she I goes, said 99% of the time. And then she was sitting there and she goes, I, I'm thinking, I'm hilarious. I was thinking I should do stand up. And immediately I'm like, I don't want to be around you for another half a second. I want Get the fuck out of here. That girl can't believe she had to go home and frig her clip. She couldn't believe it that night. She was like, this is going to work. It was one of the things where I was like, that's uh, so offensive on so many levels that she was just like, I guess you're funny. I don't get like, it. I don't fuck, get that fuck at you. All. What? I hate myself. That's why I don't go on Twitter. I already hate myself enough to not go on Twitter and feel bad. You know what I mean? Like Shane, Shane had this weird thing where I was just, uh, just during a long silence. We were driving from fucking Tempe to Tucson and I just go, I suck. And he's like, oh. what? And I go, I, I just suck. I was just thinking of that show last night, and I fucked up. And he's like, you're a psycho. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a psycho enough that I don't need to be online. I don't need people piling on top of me. Oh, if you ever see me, Christine, if you ever walk in and see my socks and shoes dangling from a fucking, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dangling from the ceiling on a on a tight beam, I promise you on the laptop, Reddit is open. Yeah. <laughs> it really is, man. Why don't you just kill yourself? He said, well, it was, well, if 18 people are saying I should kill myself, they must be right. <laughs> but you know what's funny is <laughs> a lot of people. When we were at Monday Night Raw and that guy behind us was like, Opie and Anthony read it. What do you think about it? It's like, I don't want to go near that thing because even no matter how, even if there is like a I think he's alright that oh, yeah. won't stabilize any of the fucking cooters that guy's about to get pounced on yeah not only is that guy suck now you suck too you're probably fat in Indianapolis and, and blah 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 and you're blah. like this and you go <laughs> you want to write him a message you go hey we're in this yeah. together he goes thanks for saying nice things about me I'm, I know I'm stupid and I fucking I hate it too but the, the th right that's now the I'm th holding a curling iron and I'm sitting in a tub but this give does, me three reasons why I don't drop this thing but that's what this documentary does bring up that's interesting is that a lot of the times and this is something that reflects the internet that meek and maybe what someone would be guys that wouldn't engage aggressively 
the internet removes a lot of these things so they can engage very aggressively. Yeah, then you show up though and are a fucking weirdo. Yeah, or you're this guy. Let's now get into this fucking dude that I thought was Jacob's hateable guy, but he turns out he's Jay and I's hateable guy. Looks a little like Ryan Gosling. His furry chest infuriates the fuck out of His him. whole thing yeah. sucks asshole. Oh man, V-neck t-shirt. What a dickwad. And bracelet. Hey, what's up? He's taking pictures of a, uh, what is that? The Kindle and putting it on Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's just, just reading some. Just reading. Just learning. Just took you off some Tolstoy. Learning, living if in the, the park. If a girl is like very. Daniel, I hate the name. Simply attractive, then that. He has eyes that can fall asleep. That's a swipe though. right. Um, if there are like three girls and some of them are You know what happened to this guy though? What happened to this guy? He's got in his life eight Christines that fucking follow him around constantly. You think so? He's yeah, just got a bunch of I don't even know the guy, but I'm saying this is probably the guy that you puppy dogged around. It's like this kind of thing. It's like some pretty dude. Who's just like obliviously, to, but he acts just, oblivious. But he, this guy, the same thing. He acts oblivious. He's like, I don't even know. Is anything so difficult? And it's like, dude, you're getting laid, you fucking fruit. Just yeah, dude, and, shut up. And he's doing the thing where he's going like this. He's like, I mean, he's just so nonchalant about it. If a girl's beautiful, that's why. If it's three girls, I don't have to look into it. <laughs> play. I thought I thought this was the guy you hated. Usually, what'll happen is I'll go through. I hate you. And if oh. I see that I think is really attractive, swipe right. And if we match, then I go through and then I look at your profile. Because I, I don't know, you can't really send like a chat up line without anything to go off of. Yeah. Let me show you. I do. Let me show you. I, I love the he even goes, playing. Let me show you. I'm just going to freewheel it right now. This is me just kind of like freestyling. Hold on. I love the even playing field of the electronic nature of it though, because this guy is in a thing with a girl. He's one of his seven conversations with some girl. Where he's like, I don't know, maybe we can like hang out. I like to go watch local music a lot if you want to go check out something like that. And then she goes, boy, that does sound fun. Then she clicks over to the next screen and it's Lou going, you ever get railed on a cakey co blanket? <laughs> How do you feel about smoking inside? And, and you, by the way, you have just as equal a shot of the girl going like, I guess I'm not doing anything. That is pretty close. He's close by. Sounds pretty fun. I mean, cakey co blankets are very high quality. And this guy has to shave straight down to the top of his like chest. Oh, dude, he has, there's no way he doesn't shave his neck. Is he one of those Mexican wolf boys? Wolf boy! He's on Donahue. Yeah. What if I told you a wolf boy found love? I shaved down and everything's been pretty dope. Evan's pretty sweet. I waxed my arms every morning. Things are Hi. pretty sick, mellow. How are, you, how are you having fun in our old house? Yeah, hey, could you mind putting the spotlights through the window? Great. Oh, cool. I, uh, we never did that. We you guys do me a favor. Can you open it all up and make it as uncomfortable as hey, possible? Guys, you guys just want to piss all over the walls and maybe wipe your ass with a bonfire sticker? Oh. Cool. Hey guys, do you mind, uh, maybe the fog show and, uh, the laser light thing when the DJ comes in there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna grit at these fucking LL Cool J motherfuckers. I don't give a shit. Well, let this handsome man whisk you over his arm. It really looks like she's got this kind of ambiguous profile. She's yeah. 18? Is she? Is she? Oh, I'm 22. They all blend together at some point. Oh. Oh, this is him meeting you a girl. You wanna go to a pontoon boat? This is me, him meeting a girl just for lunch, for coffee. She's the 18 year old, right? How yeah. Are you? Yeah, She's hot. Oh, sorry, traffic was... Yeah, it's bad time. <laughs> do you want coffee? Oh, uh, sure. Where do you work? I work at an Italian restaurant. Nice. I'm a waitress. Yeah. By the way, this... What? That, but Black that, Lou's giving the hands of like... What, is, is he in? He's a dick. Yeah. She just opened the door for him. Wait, put, play that back. I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, dude, you're such a charmer. I would notice that, too. He's 18? Is she? Is she? Oh, crazy. They all blend together. <laughs> no, it's, um, hard. it's crazy. Yeah. Wait, what happened my own? Okay. There's some of them. They're not, they're not 18. Anymore. I'll tell you what. I get anxiety thinking about this happening. Oh, Sitting in a place. That hug? She walks up. And then you're just like, all right, so let's start. What to do? That's the Where best part. That's the excitement. Oh, Is my it? God. Yeah. She did open the door for him. What a uh, knob. Oh wow. A bunch of cats and chickens. He's like, that's great. Cows. I'm a little light on cash. Can you pick this fun. up? Totally. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Anyways, I was thinking I'd finish on your tits or maybe <laughs> like on your butt if I'm doing it from behind. Have you ever heard of a Roman soldier helmet? Okay. Oh, so you got to try it. Oh, my God. You know what I love is eating sponge cake after I spoink on you. <laughs> hey, let me check. Hey, look at my watch. Can you read this time? He's got his dick wrapped around his oh, wrist. Crazy. Doing that thing. Like, oh, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm like if a Land's End catalog wanted to fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I um, 
So whenever I'm in a new class and it's like, mm-hmm. what's your fun fact? Yeah. My fun fact is always that I'm related to Pocahontas. I hate what? You. Yeah, that's but that's an aside. And the other one is that um, I helped birth a goat on a farm once. And oh, I want. If I was sitting at the table next to go, I don't know who the fuck you are, <laughs> but I hate you. I hate you for everything that you possess inside of your head. Not me. And Christine will support this. I'm all uh, I'm all action when I get that angry. I'd box his ear and make him sit there doing that thing with his jaw. I think that guy in the gloves popped my eardrum. I think he gets perforated in my eardrum. Uh, oh, that's going to be three he goes, weeks. He goes, this is a fun fact. My dad, <laughs> my dad uh, I, I'm related to Pocahontas, but that's and, an uh, aside. Wow, that guy really got me, huh? <laughs> he goes, I, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't help but notice <laughs> say you're related to Pocahontas. <laughs> uh, just wanted to let you know that this is actually native land. <laughs> She's my grandniece. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for a white man with steel eyes, lies of being related <laughs> to the great Pocahontas. Like, no, what I mean is, like, I relate to her. Oh, uh, no, no. I related to the to the animated movie. <laughs> oh, I'm John Smith. Like I'm the product of when John Smith raped her when she was 15, and he's all. I don't really know if you know that story. Read a book. <laughs> uh, you bring great dishonor to me and my people. <laughs> What's with Tonto over here? Am I right? You're you're a real asshole. Hey, lady, don't sleep with him. Oh, this guy plays like the some shitty instrument to like a hand accordion. Yeah, he goes. Oh, do you want to hear me? Yeah, do you want to hear me wail on my ukulele? <laughs> I picked this up in my travels to Tibet. Do you know actually? There's a word in Hawaiian that means both sunrise <laughs> and love. <laughs> Anyways, I learned this on one of the small islands. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. They said I was the only Howley allowed to hang out there. I fucking hate this guy. I'm going to fucking start punching stuff. Oh, he's in a place that has a sign that says "dogs allowed," which already annoys me. Yeah, Ugh. they don't have a dog. Um, go back a little bit, just for him to go aside. Aside. Yeah, That's a there you go. Birthing a goat. 36. That's my real deals. Lived on a farm. Totally, yeah. That makes yeah. Sense. Totally. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my yes. goats I, are on farms. I thought you lived on the side of a mountain and you're just like, oh, gross. Dopeness. <laughs> So whenever I'm in a new class and it's like, mm-hmm. what's your fun fact? My yeah. fun fact is always that I'm related to Pocahontas. Oh, Jesus. What? Yeah, that's, but that's an aside. And the other one is that um, I helped birth a goat on a farm once and oh, wow. they named the goat after me. That's very I cool. wish we could take lines little, from the show. And then that goat actually became what they fucked during the winter months. I wish me and Dan could take alternating uh, lines in the show. Or even maybe it would be fun to have Lou and uh, and Jacob do it, like bring in... Girls from Sirius XM or something to come and sit down here and just try those like speed dating a lot. Just give those exact same things. Just fun fact about me: I birthed the goat. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, fun okay, fact goes, about me: I am related to Jack Daniels. I think but Pocahontas. That's an aside. But I, always Pocahontas. So Pocahontas. I'm related to Pocahontas. You go, how so? He goes. I don't know. <laughs> DNA, DNA, DNA.com. It'd be better if you fucked it up though. You go. I am related to Mulan. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think, yeah, yeah. I'm Tonto's great grand nephew. <laughs> I don't think that's real, dude. No, Tonto's not a real person. I don't yeah. think. Uh, Roy Rogers, read a book. God, fucking learn your life. Anyways, his hair, his extraordinarily long pieces of side hair, make me want to fucking shaggy two dope him off a of stage. Yeah, <laughs> here. Uh, I mean, I think there's a little bit more of them. Oh, your puppy. Her name is Maya. Nice. Named after nice. Maya Angelou. That's what I was going to Honestly, I hate All the right, chick, too. She, I hate the chick, also. You named your cat after Maya Angelou? What are you understanding about Maya Angelou? Like, oh, wait, you're applauding it? <laughs> well, that's your end. You saw your end. You no. just saw the way a running back sees an open hole. You were like, and I'm in it. Can I tell you what I see with that when she says that? She goes... I named my cat in mind because I love spending time with my cat in between writing angry letters to comedic organizations. Yeah. And I usually bother Comedy Central three to four times a week about how they're not, <laughs> uh, how they're just racist and bad and misogynistic. I like to scream for uh, free speech and then at the same time yell at everybody for saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm real big on like, you know, like you should respect what I have to say, but then like I don't respect anything anyone else has to say. <laughs> it's kind of like the way I live my life. It's pretty sick. And he goes, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's just sitting over there going, 
Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. God damn, I am about to come in my pants. I'm just uh, like, in my world, it's just <laughs> I'm one of those girls like, you better not fucking touch me at all, and don't judge me for being a raging slut. Yeah. But also, don't touch me or even ask me out. He goes, but don't judge me because I suck all the dicks. He goes, totally. I mean, what, you're like, totally. He's like, fun fact. I'll be honest. Fun fact, my, I've had sex and also never had sex. <laughs> and one of them eventually goes like, I can't feel the right side of my face. Is it drooping? Am I having a stroke? Oh, God. All my contradictions are making my brain lock up. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not really a cat person, but I love cats. She's like, I understand that. I'll, I will I'm, alert- I'm going to say whatever I was going to say. I'm not listening <laughs> to this conversation. And he just goes, nice. Agreement, green light. She's like, I'm also a painter. I didn't say, wait, did I? Am yeah. I a painter? Are we painting? I'm, I mean, I'm an artist. I don't know if it's so much paint. Right, me too. Dude, I don't know if I'm really good at anything, but I do it all. fucking says that about art. Keep playing it. Any art or... No, I think that um, this is going to sound super pretentious and lame, but I think <laughs> I'm like an artist. I just don't make a lot of art. Yeah. I so hate like- wow. you. I hate you. I I mean, that is that is pretentious and lame. <laughs> Why would you say it? Stop it. You go, Stop yourself from saying that. Why don't you come over later and I'll... uh. I'll paint a pollock on your butt. <laughs> He's just a coxman, and all of his jokes lead to sex. He yeah. goes, I wouldn't say I'm really an art, but uh, you put my tongue in between your legs. You see what I'm talking about? He goes, I'm a psychology major. Uh, maybe I'll lay a little Rorschach test on your chest later. <laughs> I don't make a lot of art, but I like I'm art. an artist, but I don't make really much art. What does that mean? Probably never has to use that line. He gets laid after the goat thing. Yeah, he's like, God damn. He goes, no one's taking me this deep in the fight. Yeah, he goes, man, I am reaching down. I'm in the cargo pockets now. I'm in some real deep water. I didn't know she was going to take goes, me here. Ooh, he goes, I'm going to have to go in, my, goes, in, my, in the pocket in my ruse. He goes, what used to work in high school? I'm an artist, but I don't make art. God damn, usually the goat thing is I'm fucking me. That is so esoteric. Oh, my God. I am liberal, but also extremely conservative with language. It's odd. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Do the 10-second refresher after you hit play so we can hear him n- knob it up again. There he is. Or... No, I think that um, this is going to sound super pretentious and lame, but yeah, I think I'm like an artist. Uh-huh. I just don't make a lot of art. Yeah. So I have to go meet my Oh, her really fucking... Yeah. yeah. No, shoot. No, don't even say another word. Don't even explain it. That's... Oh, my God. You do that, too? I'm an artist, too. <laughs> I'm an artist. doesn't make art. art. They're all fake artists. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I work at a bank, too. <laughs> and then just fucking scare it away. All the right answers. Do you love dogs? I fucking love dogs. He goes, you guys just love every dumb thing that's new yeah. now? He goes, I criti- he's like, I'm not an artist, but I go on YouTube and I criticize them. <laughs> I want to make a Tinder profile so I can say things like, uh, I think even... DM's a bunch of noise. Just like old man crotchety things yeah. in your profile. Dude, I told you what I wanted. I don't my... like a lot of lights. I, t- I like the I like my music loud and oh, classic. God. Ooh, sleeping <laughs> sleeping in is a real treat. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, uh, the one that I told Vecchio, and I think I've said that what I wanted to put on my profile originally was, I'm here for conflict. Emotional, physical. <laughs> that was yeah. going to be one of my, or my other one was going to be Dan. 35. If cornered, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I have impossible standards of cleanliness. Yeah. Ooh, real, real broken toy over here. <laughs> I, just, uh, I cry just as much as I scream. Uh, <laughs> Dan, welcome to chaos. Like it's a, it's, goes, like it's a MySpace profile. Welcome to chaos. He goes, a woman who wants to be with me is going to have to learn how to walk between the raindrops of my fury. Oh, uh, dude. I, I want to alternate. I have a lot of unsorted issues. I want to start you're, to deal with that. I want to start uncapitalized, but then alternate between un, uh, lowercase and capitalized, <laughs> and just have it say "Welcome to the Chaos." <laughs> yeah. I love the idea of honest dating profile. Oh my god! Like everybody yeah. actually just has Ooh. to lay all their shit out. Yeah. I love, I'll never hit you, but you're gonna think I'm going to a lot. <laughs> uh, welcome to Welcome to Flinchtown. <laughs> welcome to Flinch City, bitch. <laughs> you, go, you better get ready at Duck and Jabs. <laughs> Are you gonna hit me like? No, but I want to. Uh, prepare to have an offensive voice mocking you be shot back in your face. Uh, if you want to keep all of your prized possessions, don't tell me how much they mean to you or yeah. I will break them. Oh, man. All right. Let's see what fucking Daniel. Bizarro Dan. Excellent. Hey, I'll text you. Thanks for having Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, oh God. Yeah. You hug good. Sure. Yeah, he hugged her like he wasn't in. He's not in. He's, hold on. Let's see. He says it. 
Hey, dude, what are you doing? Like, have you guys had dates where you go and you, like, like, the conversation's good, but you know it's not going to go anywhere? It was kind of like that. Oh, oh this fucking yeah, round table of cunts. <laughs> to progress the conversation into something more, like, intimate or, like, sexual or something, it just never really happened. Wait, so I he's think- waiting. So you thought your fucking I'm an artist but not an artist was going to lead to her, like, so I, like, love to just suck cock, like, all the time. Like, all. That's all I want to know. He's like, really? I enjoy boat shoes with no socks. Of course he has dad shoes with no socks. Of course all of them do. Lavender all of them fucking do. shirt. What a jet. Dude, I would love to take an Easton to fucking all these guys just walking, swinging like it's a fucking punk. This conversation, they would never be like, dude, pull up a chair. I'm like, no. Yeah. If I walk, <laughs> dude, if I were their neighbors. Oh, Jay, pull up a chair. Fuck off. If I was their neighbor, I'd try no to, way, I'd try to thumb the hose of my fucking, uh, I'd try to thumb the, the top of my hose to spray them. Oh, so like, uh oh, my old neighbor Dan's out in his lawn. I'm like, Oh, look at their mugs. Yeah, he's going to go, Soder Watch, man, my French roast. Yeah. Mr. Like, Soder Watch ooh, out. I go, ooh, 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 ooh. lucky I can't have a gun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky the state of Texas took away my gun. Dude, this whole crew is a foot stomp away from being ended in a physical situation that could break out. Oh, dude, I feel like a flying jump kick would take two in the middle out. Look at these four boys have it together. Christine, would you walk by this and be like, I'm fucking one of them four? I mean, you I'm not going like, to lie. If I, if I walk by this front yard, I'd go, hey, man. These opiate addicts are really getting their shit together. They're having a meeting. Oh, see, not me. I think they'd be planning, like, weird, you know what I mean? It's like, we're going to do the fundraisers so we can finally have prom. Yeah. Then let's we're going to go to my dad's boat dealership. Well, let's hear, then, him, let's hear him chop it up about what they think, where they think Daniel's date went wrong. Which, by the way, I thought she was nice and agreeable and hot. She so. was a cute chick, for sure. She didn't bring cats, which was a big, that's <laughs> big for me. That's a big plus in my book. That's a big, big for this guy. Than other people. Uh, based on like the first interaction being at a coffee house instead of your house or, yeah, or hey, meet Mrs. Alley. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll exactly. Door for her. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is indicative of a, of a different intention. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Cause Eli, I think your, most of your Tinder dates, yeah, take place in the, uh, in, the, in the, real quick. In, in the home. Yeah. yeah. We evolve. I hate, I hate that whole group. Yeah. Hey, Eli, I would say your dates evolve in the bedroom real quick. You know what I'm talking about, broski? Balls to puss. <laughs> he goes, oh, we call Eli old slaptastic. He goes, I'm only about three sentences away from nuts knocking off her butt. He goes, all my Tinder dates, I call them applause breaks. <laughs> I like, one thing I, just, I had a problem with this documentary was because I actually like all the, didn't even have a problem with the Tinder guys, but Tinder guys, uh, start to explain that becomes very interesting. We're going to focus much more, obviously, on the people of this. Yeah, the people they they bring in the people that created Tinder, yeah, the, the, but the, the people, people that created Bumble, the people that created Tinder, are telling you and everyone in no uncertain terms they've made this thing to be like a game, yeah, a jackpot game yeah. that essentially is led to end in you getting pussy <laughs> or dick, depending on what you're looking for. Well, and pe- and and the frustration of the. People, that internet dating has only led to frivolous sex for them is the stupidest fucking argument. Then go meet people in a world where you're not meeting based off of pictures yeah. and a fucking dumb blurb about him birthing a fucking goat. Well, in... in yes, Dan. I'm I sorry, I'm shot out of the can. I, I know, you get real fired yes. up. I, I love it, I love it. But that was also something on 60 Minutes that this ex-Facebook um, executive went on 60 Minutes and was like, yeah, we're... Or he might have been Google. He was like, yeah, we're programming it. It's all casino-based. Like, what he, what they yep. talked about, it's all reward-based. And he said Facebook will withhold likes and then give them later. So when you check, you get more of it because it, it's like the flood of the adop- of the dopamine being like, oh, people are paying attention to me and fucking feeding it. And it's fucking super dangerous. Mm. But especially when you evolve it in the dating world and now you're dealing with people's emotions and expectations and like this, this want to like find someone. There's a lot of lonely ass people out there that really just want to find someone to spend time with in a real way. And these computer guys are like, yeah, no, no, we got it all wired. Everyone, we got it all wired. everyone they speak to in this documentary. Everybody grew up with a center island. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed, Guaranteed center island. And I'm, center just, island. I'm a center island kid. And let me say, it's a good life. When you have a center island, <laughs> your guys have an island to fight it's on. It's a good, good life. You I eat your like, Cocoa Krispies while watching Sports Center. And we'll get into it, I'm sure, but they're, cause they get into the, the black people say that it, the internet dating is not set up for them very good at all. And you know why it's not set up for them? Why they're not all on? And this is not an in, this, it's actually a much more of a compliment that black people don't do very well on these dating apps. They don't need it. 
black people would know how to go out and talk to people and interact and hook up. Well, what's interesting is like there's just a, a, a natural smoothness to the culture well, and machismo to the culture that I think a guy would feel like a fucking dweeb. Uh, non-stop doing, unless you're just going like, yeah, I'm gonna go fuck a bunch of white chicks. Like, you know what Hold I mean? On, like, but there's, there's a, a an black interesting... guy going, I'm looking for a girlfriend on an app, I think you'd be like, what? Yeah, but there's an interesting what? part later in where they start, they start talking to a bunch of gay guys about how Grinder fucked up. They're he, assholes? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. He goes, we're all, we've all had surgery. <laughs> it's usually step one is surgery and you get to your butthole. Re- I'll tell you everything I regret saying more than anything. Tape it up. I'm back in the game. Yeah. I'll tell you this. When a doctor says you're on the IR, listen to the doctor. But what they said is that they they said it, it at one point they call it cruising. They yeah, like yeah, cruising's yeah. part of the culture. It's yes. part of like the gay culture is like meeting guys and going out and having fun. And they said Grinder fucked it up for a lot of gay guys because they're just at home being like, come over and fuck me. Yeah, and gay dudes get it, so they do. <laughs> oh, buddy, Tim Dillon, man, was uh, he's uh, you know, and he's not even the guy. He's not like a a, a thin and great shape, like uh, you know, like overly well. You know, he's not like a, yeah. not effeminate and all these things. And like, I think he's always he's just like minutes away from somebody going like, sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, Someone he's attracted to and everything. Well, the guys are too now with Tinder, and it, it really is like the thing about all these apps that they get into, all designed by like fucking horny college boys. Yeah, and they say that, and so and they, they start showing, yeah. they start showing, um, to the, you know, the CEO of Tinder and, uh, and all this stuff, and he's saying like, we created this in college to when fuck. we were. Yeah, well, yeah but boys, I'm they're saying, like, how do we figure out how to fuck? To go more? back to say, me and Christine lo- logged on to that threesome one, it was like, it's just almost no response. At all, like a bunch of guys, like uh, like try, but like it's the girl responses are nil, and that's what it's funny watching the girls get angry at like Tinder and all those because like they go on there feeling like, well, if I go on the threesome one, I'm just saying I'm coming the fuck and I'm being a bit of a whore, but then they do it a bunch on this and like, what's the thing? It's the same deal. Yeah, at least the threesome one's just going like this is purely to fucking hook up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, I like, don't understand the the playing dumb element of like. Oh, well, I, th- you know, I thought I, he invited me to his house and I didn't want to fuck and being upset about that. It's like, he invited you to his house. Like, you don't know that so the guy, fuck you. Well, let's get to the point. actual dumb. Well, let's get to the point of the girls she that are sitting too. there. <laughs> uh, keep going where there's the three girls in the front yard and they're talking. This gets us to two things. It gets us to the women talking about how it's like all sexual. Um, this is, yeah. So this is, um, the black girl in Ohio talking about dating online. Mm-hmm. I think it's go back to these girls. Yeah, no, there's girls outside where yeah, they're the talking. Girls. The black chicks are great. I like the one she goes, I have a really hard time. He goes, it's probably your weight. The other one's like, I'm having a little, really weird time. He goes, you look like a militant black woman. I'm having a very difficult time. And then the meanwhile, the yeah, guy, yeah. and the guy's like, I'm having a great time. It's very easy. I'm a black guy with flippy floppy hair. I'm just cleaning up and puss. Yeah. Oh, who's that guy? A guy who had to create a website to get laid. Oh, this is them talking about the reward policy mm-hmm. of uh, of Tinder. It's casino theory. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole, whole yeah, way just like it. right here. These. As someone who is female bodied, I actually don't. I well, I'm out. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> by the uh, way, this, this is this is my this is honestly got close to where I turned it off. Yeah, by 29 minutes in, this is about like th- this woman here. I this was like a head bang against the wall for me. I, I hate it. Ten seconds at back, so we can hear the start again. Again. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Man, no, go, go, go to their whole round yeah. table. Their round table was fucking gross. This is where it starts. Yeah. They're in California. It's a match. It's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Jackpot. surprise. Yeah. yeah, then you can do more. Then you get to, then you unlock the ability to message them. It's true. And it uh, feels good. Or you can go back and test your luck again. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it, it's so weird because, yeah, it really is a game. As someone who is female-bodied, I actually don't identify as a uh, woman or girl. I identify as non-binary, so I am uh, I, I, trans I, I in that heart, way. That I, I, there's just such bigger problems in the world. Like, there's such bigger things it, in the world that even waste your time going like, "I'm a girl." I'm going to have sex with men, but I want to tell the world I'm like another thing. Yeah. A different thing. It, it, that, that's odd to me is because she is, something else. is saying that, but then all she does is date men and is on this thing. And, and it's like, I don't know. There's, 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 there's a part of me that's like, I mean, red dragon. That's what made the guy a lunatic was the same exact thing. I'm a dragon. He says, I'm just something else. I know I'm a man. I have a penis. I'm dating a woman. I'm a dragon though. You guys know I'm a dragon. I'm a red dragon. That's the, that's literally, she's saying that and you're supposed to go, very brave. She's, she's a very average straight 
chick. Yeah. She's a very average, young, straight chick, and that's yeah. not popular now. Yeah. And I'm not, you know, there are white. people Do you that think are, that you know, white? there are, she's there a are white people lady. that are actual hermaphrodites. There are people that are non-binary, people that are gay. I know, and on, I mean, Asia that I work with that's non-binary is non-binary. But this just Dan's a hermaphrodite. Very, like, I got a dick and a pussy. You're something make, more interesting. That's what it is, is it's going, it's like being a white woman, she she knows that white people's time is uh, fucking running up before we owe a lot of apologies. And so instead of avoiding that, instead of just fucking doing that, she's like, I'm not, I'm not that, so you can't count me as that. So I didn't do anything wrong. It's like skipping out on your bill. You're like, I, I ate that, but I, I don't process food like that. So I can't, I don't poop, so I can't be, I you can't charge me for the meal because I don't poop. And you're like, no, you fucking ate yeah. the meal. You're, you're a white woman in California. You yeah. know, you're like, you, look at you. you, you have I'm a nice young, room. hot, white chick. Can we start it's calling, not uh, my fault. Can we start calling bisexual dudes, uh, Hermaphrodites, because they use their dick for chicks and their assholes are pussy. I mean, I, yeah, I'll back you. Um, I don't Thank know how I'm running for sen- Well, that's my. I'm running for Senate on that bill. <laughs> Jay Okerson. he's running for Pennsylvania. Bisexuals or hermaphrodites? Because think about it. 2020. <laughs> that's your commercial. 2020. Because when it cuts to you, you go think about it. They use their dicks on dicks and pussies. He goes, I approve this message. <laughs> they go, and in a stunning victory, brand new politician Jason Okerson has won a seat in the Pennsylvania Senate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm glad you were all able to take the stick out of your man pussies. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> to watch them go through all the footage of all of our tapes. Yeah, if you join, if you went into politics, they would go through this show and be like, "He said this, this, and this." Dude, the and headlines like, Dan, you're would change it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the headlines would change our lives. We run for local. I voted for local government. Dude, you would torpedo my career. <laughs> They'd just be like, "Let's just take everything out of context." <laughs> and then it's just me fucking smoking cigarettes again on TV, going, "I don't know what you guys want from me. I was just being funny. I was just trying to be funny. I was high. I was being funny." No, nah, we're gonna break through. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run for local government so they come through. Goes, um, did you say the N word up to and including? 300 plus strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all funny, though, I promise you. Are you just going to say you're going to bulwark? It was never said in a shitty way. It was always in some joke format of some sort. Meet the man That's who not brought everyone back to rational. Did you call a bisexual man's ass his guy pussy? I did. I did. I did. I did say, and I don't have an explanation other than, like, Who come on, the man. voice That's of funny. the old Japanese guy? You go, that wasn't me. That was Dan. That was go, actually okay, Dan. We got him. We got TV's him. billions. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Uh, let's oh, you mean my cabinet partner, Dan? I go, Secretary of Defense, Dan Soder. <laughs> <laughs> I go, our wars will be fought with bongs in WWE 2K19. He goes, this guy put the work in in the courtrooms of MTV, too. I mean, I am a guy court. My Supreme Court Justice, Dan Soder. I go through a nomination process. I like pot, oh. okay? I like to have pot. Have you ever had too much pot where you blacked out? No. Dan graduated Charlemagne cum laude. Yeah, Charlemagne Duval cum laude. <laughs> Charlemagne Duval? Yeah. Cum laude. Uh, let's watch the rest of this. Uh, Lisa's trying to avoid being white. She's not a lady, piece of shit. Sorry, non-binary. Although my body is assigned female, I identify more outside of that. I think there's a lot of pressure when you're using it, knowing that, like... I don't know, knowing that, like, people on there, they're, like, men seeking women, and then you're part of a stack of, like, women, and that people, I, like, the by guys... By the way, nice PBR, I identify her as white garbage, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> no, that's, that's... You're non-binary, no, but you are very garbage. She's a Center Island kid trying to be white garbage. Of course. Oh, like, yeah, without a doubt. She doesn't appreciate the Center Island the way I do for my guys and my... How old is this girl? Go back to that... Uh, oh, don't... If you get the timing right. Go back to that fucking house. Go back to the house they're in in California. Is it going so bad? She's... Exactly. She's fine. She comes from, like, something good. You know, she comes from a good family, and she's looking for something to be unique. What makes me different? Mm-hmm. Can't just be the rich girl. That's not going to impress anybody. Center Island. Huh? I'm trying to get that Center Island. Hell I mean, yeah. we all are. We Listen, all I feel very fortunate when I saw the Center Island. As I, said. I hate the girl next to her, too. That, that house isn't that nice. It's just like Santa Cruz. It's like you see Santa Cruz okay. housing. Oh, well, it's, never mind. It's totally cool. No, so fuck everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's cool. It's no, yeah, these three goofy, <laughs> these teenage white girls have eight times the space we have. Oh, yeah, yeah it's just Santa Cruz. So they fine. live in fucking Santa Cruz. No, they're, oh, look at her room. Ten yeah, seconds back. Good. Ten seconds back, guys. Come on. Let's get back to it. Let's, let's turn our powers for good, not for bad. As someone who is female-bodied, I actually don't identify as a uh, woman or girl. I identify as non-binary, so I am uh, trans in that way that although my body is assigned There has female, to be someone who is trans that sees that and is like, that. fuck you. Nope. Like, fuck you. 
Oh, you know, maybe. Someone there has really to be a trans. I mean, I'm talking about someone that's gone through full the struggle post-op, through some t- yeah. post-op transsexual that's on the streets. Like, you read these stories about these people that are kicked out of their homes because they're trans. And, you know, like, Rolling Stone did an unbelievable uh, article about, like, the trans teenagers of New York City that are trans and kicked out of their houses in the Bronx and shit because their family don't, their families don't understand it. But these people have to live this life because that's who they are. You see this where it's just like, she's comfortable. Yeah, I don't know. She's not, no, I know you said, she's not compelled by anything inside of her. Yes. She's fabricated a story to be something interesting. Cause she never gave birth to a fucking goat, I guess. Wow, that she has is to a say pretty something cool thing. when she first gets there. Also, if she was related to Pocahontas, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty dope. But I mean, her whole thing, it's like, exactly, you know what, and I'm wrong. Uh, someone who's, like, Caitlyn Jenner is, tra- as a trans person, I mean, she went through a surgery. Lives her life a whole different way. And so, I think there's this non-binary. Is, there's nine bodies. This there's, is such an easy way just to be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a crazy unique thing. It's the, it is, it's, what's funny is it's actually the same thing as the Pocahontas thing. We were going like, hey, by the way, I have 10% Native American blood. That's yeah. the new thing of being like, pretty interesting about me. I'm 15% Apache, so you can't be mad at me for any of the things that white people did. <laughs> you're like, well, you're mostly white. You're a white person. Let's get through her comments and we'll pick it up after the break. There's a lot of pressure when you're using it, knowing that that, like, I don't know, knowing that, like, people on there, they're, like, men seeking women, and then you're part of a stack of, like, women, and yeah. that's people, like, the guys that's how the whole that fucking you might want to date, like, date. Yeah, you know, I read Wikipedia about Tinder, and this is what it said. Yeah. <laughs> Just telling oh, you the God. obvious things. Fuck. They're luring us in to play this game where we Why go have sex. Do I have to be in a stack of women? Well, because you're saying you want to fuck a man, so they're putting you in the stack of your female body, right? Ah, what the fuck? I mean, dude, if I'm her dad, I'm just fucking paying for the college. I'm like, get the fuck out. I don't know. I want to watch the Sunday ticket. She'll get over it. Yeah. Yeah. He hey, goes, it. He goes, here's, here's your for- money for college. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, dad, that's super offensive. Also, my Mercedes Benz blew one of its pistons. And he's yeah. like, I'll pay for it, too. Yeah. She goes, stop saying it like that. Yeah. Was- hey, them. I'll see you when you come back on uh, Thanksgiving. Just her dad's just blowing money. He's just some Orange County fucking, inj- you know, like yeah. energy consultant and he's like I make $700,000 a year hey, hey, hey man where's your daughter I was, if, yeah. if went to college <laughs> she is currently experimenting in Santa Cruz she has, a hun- she has 104 different grants and student loans but her based dad, off of her, her 45 different made up things she, she has he goes but the fun part is is uh, I've been fucking my secretary for 10 years and, yeah, no and she that. knows she's a woman yeah and I'll tell you this <laughs> that is all woman before we get in because this girl actually makes me want to fight her that I hope that world views her as not a woman so I can hit her. I uh let's take our break and we'll come back. Um we'll be terminated. Whoa, holy line, shit. But we're here. And uh you know, it's a bonfire. Wow. Who can it be now? Who I just like doing be now. I found out in all the songs that we play I like to do the musical instrument along with you singing. <laughs> Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Erickson. This is The Lost Tapes. We were watching the documentary Swiped on HBO, a documentary about online dating that took us down and met us. Uh, we met some real hateable people on that documentary. We have not found the best people. Well, here's the thing is we haven't even got to the guy that Jacob hates the most. I know. Your boy when he's strumming the guitar. We just finished... Uh, with a college student that is clearly a woman and lives a woman's life, but just wants to be called non-binary. Something else. Something else, which is cool. I am a Jay, that is more than. Jay identifies as a dragon, and I identify as a character from Thundercats. And Jacob Wolf. Whoa, the wolf, the air wolf. The wolf. Let's go back to the documentary. Jacob, what was the name of the dude that you hate? All right, you have to say it so hatred. You don't have to say it so hateful at me. I, oh, wait, I go back to that one great point again with uh oh there he is the other girl that was with non-binary yeah when she's talked to uh, that's you, you go forward Christine go back no oh, go no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm sorry forward. go you go bad. forward yeah no you missed the guitar guy yeah did we yeah oh we got to go back for the guitar guy he's at 23 minutes he's at 23 minutes so we so the non-binary girl was at 29 minutes all right I got it so you'll, we jumped you'll we jumped hear him. him. You'll hear him. You'll hear that sweet guitar. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I think that guys oh. are way more harsh than they've ever been before. It's I true. Think they think We're a bunch they of catty bitches. Tens, and they're not even, okay, they are not even themselves. That's what I'm saying. And that's what's really messed up. Well, and men are like that, too. 
No. Not nearly no, as I much. Like, Women, I they like try. They're like more critical and they it gives them unrealistic they, expectations. Their nails are usually done. Because you got done. the bombshell bra on, yeah, face full of makeup, makeup the weave or the wigs or some Flow shit. Yeah. Sorry, and when all that it. comes off. We could, I don't know what to do here. Christine can't hear. Yeah, Christine, Christine can't hear. Hey, headphones. someone take my headphones because they're fucking clamping down at Sirius like we're a goddamn public school in the hood. Do you, you have a thing over there? Yeah, just take my headphones. I'll wear these ones that are attached over here. That's what I tried to do, but this one doesn't have the adapter. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> no, cool. This is all going pretty good. You know, how we're homeless. Pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, cool. We're showing that at home. Are you both plugged in? I'm plugged yeah, in now. Plugged in. I'm plugged in like a motherfucker. Now Christine's got my headphones. Christine wasn't plugged in. Yeah. And she can't hear what she's bringing up on the screen. So we're just watching them talk. Oh, here comes this motherfucker. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh, Jacob, you're going to hate where it goes with this guy. Because you didn't. You bailed on this documentary, correct? You got so angry After with... After this guy, shut it off. After him, you shut it off. I mean, you missed. And there, I missed there's more to it. Yeah, Jay went a little bit further. I went a little bit further than Jay, and then Black Lou went all the way. Black Lou <laughs> went, he, he took it to the end zone. He goes all the way. Black Lou goes all the way. No half-stepping in Black Lou's world. Uh, I, just do it like 10 more seconds before that, Christine, because he, yeah. There he is. <laughs> Shredding. So this was definitely care, part of his agreement to be in this documentary. Yeah, he was definitely like, "Can you guys mind? You guys mind watching me just play a couple licks? You guys cool if I wail?" And they go, "I mean, we don't really have the time for it. We have to go interview someone else." And he goes, "No, I guess I won't be in the documentary." Then. It's just I'm like a shred master. I don't, I don't know. know. You guys need documents. You need shredded. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Please stop, Kyle. Stop. No one, no one likes you on this film." Crew. He goes, no, it's okay if you don't want to have me playing guitar. It's okay for me not to shred. <laughs> Damn, girl. Go, you can play it. And it became like an easy thing. I'm just like, oh, I'll, I'll lay in bed, I'll wake up. And psh, 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 psh. It's like a little mini adrenaline rush every time you do it. He's just walking on a common phone. symptom of. He definitely strikes me as a guy. He lives in New York. He strikes me as a guy that will look at his phone on the way up the uh, stairs of the subway. Jacob gets a real under the skin hatred for uh, pretty guys. Pretty be beautiful you don't men. Like pretty guys. You don't like beautiful men. I'll tell you why. Where am I, I on your spectrum? Because if he, if it was, if he was honest about, he's just on here for pussy on Same. the documentary. Yeah, just saying how I get a lot of puss, then I'd be fine with it. But. It's he's just bullshitting everybody. He's like, I'm tired for. I want I'm tired love. of getting. I'm tired of being the rebound guy. Yeah. Well, let's play. Let's off. play the interview because he says it. A lot of the girls I went on dates with was I was the rebound guy. There it is. So if I went on a date, it would come out to like a couple weeks later where they would either ghost me or they would just. Be like, oh, well, this happened, and I'm in love with that guy, and I just broke up with my boyfriend. And then that, and then once that happened, then they would go away. So I just go, I go where I'm comfortable, in Time. the zone of shredding. <laughs> Time to go write a new few new hot licks. He goes, and this is pretty much why I'm the top blues musician in Greenpoint. Because <laughs> I try to find love, but baby, it can't find me. Why does everyone have a nicer apartment? Also, his apartment offense. You have no idea. He's a rich his apartment. Yeah, this could just be a place they filmed. Well, that's the least of my hatred for him. But I, I mean, mean, I like his black silk sheets that he woke up with and just laid in bed, looking at his <laughs> tender with his arm behind his head. How do you feel, this Jacob? This is a promotional video for him. Sure, but how do you feel if you find out that he's also like getting wailed on by dudes a lot also. That's how he keeps his apartment. It's like old men. Old men pay him to come do yeah, weird he takes shit a, He him. takes a dump in like a child's tea set for a Japanese businessman. And Are they you, give him like $10,000. Now you're cash. jealous of the apartment? You can no, get that unless, apartment if you yeah. want to do those things. I know some seedy people. You want to do this? Oh, my God. You want me to make some calls? Shit, buddy? If you're rolling this shit in Tupperware in front of people, I'm telling you there's a market. Dude, I can put you in a bodysuit made of latex by 9 p.m. make you 80K. Let's get past the apartment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he definitely has that vibe of like, I'm chasing my dreams, but my dreams ain't as fast as I am. But is this the new uh, engineer guy? Like, yeah, for good. 
Mo, Mo from Calvin and Hobbes. His hair makes me laugh every time. It's a, it's like a, it's like an eleven year old haircut on a forty eight year old dude. Flippy hair. It's not as good as Kyle's. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, Kyle, too. yeah. And then this guy. Uh, so just hit play because let's yeah. keep going with how he's just walking it, just walking it. So after that, I kind of wised up. To he wised that, up. This By the way, is his apartment great, Jake? You want to live in a place that's completely graffitied in the hallways? Yeah, what are you, a foot What soldier? is your place like? I got to come to your place. Dude. Yeah. Are you, where are you living at? Are you living under a bridge? You the inside a- floor is the same as the outside floor. Yeah, I don't like that at all. That's concrete. That man sleeps, his couch is on concrete. He's in front of a radiator? Yeah. What are you all sucking this guy's dick about, Jacob? I don't know. He's upset. He's talking to the engineer real quick. But yeah. Fuck like a champion with that. Yeah, That's you right. will. Goddamn right. If Jacob's right. not there, the Jacob drops are. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's play always, li- always living with us? Through the door, just playing the blues on his own. Let's just make sure we tell everybody at home why that just got weird for the, the last few the minutes. The engineer was just sitting in here, just yeah. standing there like he's part of the show. And now he's looking up Christine's asshole. Yeah, part, that's force right. one out. Force a turd out. Just fucking <laughs> blow one on the window. <laughs> <laughs> like a squid. Christine, press ham this guy. <laughs> dude, just do it. Blood to mirror. Right. Press ham him. Oh, uh, dude, if you could force out a dig with Larry, I'll give you 50. I got yeah. it in my pocket. No, no, no. Give me the old book flaps. <laughs> <laughs> book flaps. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Don't. don't. Or don't. Or don't. Or we're not going to have fun. Here. Hey, you guys, uh, doing radio in here? Pretty cool. Yeah, he goes, he uh, just comes in here and stands. You go, can I help you? He goes, I can ollie. He goes, all right. They're really killing the budgets on these uh, headphones. He goes, are you guys going to go to the scooters party later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was, what, were you, what do you always say in the elevator? Uh, you guys going to Dugan's Rager? He goes, oh, no, Dugan's not this week. It's Scooter this week. A scooter's got a party this week. He's right at Hamptons, and he stayed back. I'm so. a bad, I'm a, I'm the bad boy of the wire of the engineers. <laughs> they call me the hot wire. Hot wire. Uh, yeah, dude, I want to set it up where it just shows me through a hallway doing what I like to do, just playing PlayStation, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Still, still that guy's guitar riff playing yeah. though, or you just hear the jamming of the buttons. Oh uh, no, 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 no! Spider Man, no, fuck! Yeah, jump left, yeah. jump left, jump left, yeah. jump left, jump left! This thing's fucking punching the couch. <laughs> I think it's stupid. Anywho, it's like girls just want to fuck and they ghost me. Oh man, whatever. I'm afraid, like I'm giving head and not falling in love. Do you think that uh, the engineer stayed here a little longer to admire the guy's hair who you hate, Jacob, on the <laughs> thing? Do you think he walked in and stopped and went, who's that? Who's that guy with the magical fingers and the gorgeous hair? Where? Where's that beautiful guitar coming from? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Is there a hard play? Is it? Let's, let's. So in the course of my Tinder messaging, I might have like 20 different text messages going on. In each one of those, you kind of like keep following and that's the thing that comes into multi-messaging because some women could do it to you or you do it to some women. You're a fucking faggot. Whoa. And then I re-downloaded it because I was feeling lonely. Whoa. And uh, and that's when it, it kind of like that uh, phrase, you know, when it rains, it pours. Oh, God. He really does have the energy of someone that corrects you on wrong words. <laughs> where he goes, actually, I know you want to pronounce it like that. It's actually pronounced Karate. <laughs> like, it's not karate. It's karate. Do they ever, Black Lou in this documentary, put together the goat birther, the midwife for the goat, and this guy? They can't. It'll rip a space, it'll rip a whole <laughs> space time continuum. It's too much douche in a room. I think there's some physics about that. It cannot, it cannot exist in a vacuum. It raises the global temperature by five degrees. <laughs> Is that girl Jacob in the hallway? Oh my god. That's the girl you're going to go ram with this girl. Jacob, she's gorgeous. She's available. She loves racing. She told me. Who is she? Do you guys know who it is? Yeah, she's like one of the talent people. She's always at the front desk. She's very nice. Yeah. Is she one of the talent people? Is that what you say, Danny? You go, what's up with the talent? That's what I (laughs) I usually have my sunglasses on. Hold on. Let me put them on. What's uh, What's what's going on with the the talent? What's going on? With the talent. <laughs> Especially with my cold, it makes me sound like I'm all... Hey, do you want to show me your talent? I just want to know who, uh, who's the talent. How you um, doing? Uh, I just got my door open and I'm just ripping out my guitar. Oh, I don't know you're in the hallway. Hold on real quick. Let me just finish this out real quick. I wrote the blue of this girl that's got talent. 
She got the talent. Jacob loves her. Every man do. <laughs> she work in the hallway. I think she a Jew. Jacob she got love. the talent. She got that serious talent. <laughs> she got that talent. She got that serious ex damn town. No, 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 no. down the hall. No, 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 no. Wiggling around her yeah, talent. Oh, yeah. We talking about real talent. Oh, this is back. This <laughs> is just back on the block. Just have pipe and energy and smoking cigs at eleven. Behind a drug, play play on this guy because this is him going out on another date. Oh, this isn't the guy, the goat birther. No, we got to right exactly. Goat where, birther and him is different. Have this one friends with benefits over here, and then I'll go on a date with that girl. Smart. Develop another friends with benefits with that girl, and then all of a sudden it became like this girl's Monday. That girl, wait, no, wait, I'll switch that around and like figuring out my schedule for all these different women. There was one bar in particular that would bring some of these women. I knew the bartender, and he'd be like, "Hey, is this like a date tonight?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Same girl." I'm like, "Not exactly." And then he would and give me a. Uh, this guy sucks. The way he's, uh, Who's no, worse? No, he's ghost, not, uh, is Ghost Birther worse than this guy? They're like twin bad boys. No, they're both like they're they're both equal on the fucking asshole scale. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. Who's those, worse? They're the same person. Do a, do a poll on Twitter and release it during this episode at the Bonfire SXM. Who is worse, Kyle from Brooklyn or Goat or Daniel from Austin? Daniel from Austin is the goat birther. So maybe put Daniel, who's the goat birther, and then put Kyle, who shreds. Who's more hateable? Yeah. Who's more? Who do you more? Because I'm going to say I hate this guy more because I feel like his douche isn't as sincere. I hate this guy more because... Um, he also found, like, even his talent playing guitar is to just feed that, like, I don't know, man, it's just like, mindless sex over and over again gets to me, you know? Two bodies rubbing together, sometimes you need a spark, but maybe I want to find someone I can lock legs with and just watch TV for a couple hours, you know? Or, who's worse? A guy that says he's an artist, but doesn't make art. That's right. <laughs> it's I tough, don't make man. art. Per se, <laughs> I get it. but and I he's also worse. he's also related to Pocahontas. That's oh, yeah. the worst. Uh, it's the worst. It's, it's the worst. So, oh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm switching to Daniel from that Austin. Guy made me lose sleep. I hate that guy. <laughs> that guy made me lose sleep. You see Daniel from Austin coming a mile away, though. I don't think you see this guy coming a mile away. Thing that Lou's gonna hate this guy for. Something. You watch the whole thing? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! All right, hit play. Yeah. By jam. the way, I had you jo you, <laughs> you jo to I Kyle. I bet those glasses are phony. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that Those definitely. Christine is not. Women know that. That's fake glasses, right? He's trying to look cute. Christine's worn fake glasses. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a chick thing. All right, now, so who is it? Daniel from Austin, Kyle from New York, or Christine from Rosa Beach? <laughs> from Rosa Beach. <laughs> Who's biggest douchebag? <laughs> you pick it. <laughs> Our film crew is like here. I hope they're able to set up in 18.3 seconds. No, they did. They already went in. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Was there tension? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm bumping into people, I'm just like right, right, left, right. It's like a little video game. Yeah. It's just a video game, dude, Jacob. All right. Is that how you see it, Jacob? Yeah, like a video game? Ten Jacob, do you think it's a game? Do you think this is a fucking game? Let's uh, let's jump ahead. I know where I want to go. Go to about 59 minutes in. It's just where it gets really inf infuriating. Uh, this is where I, I, I made a time marker because I was so upset. Who's that, that girl? girl dicks all over her that girl is one of the girls, uh, her name's Charlotte, I think. She's one of the girls that's like, everything's about looks. All I do is looks. This sucks. I don't like being on here. When does she cry? Is that what this is? Yeah, when she, she cries, cries before. She is, cries before. Is where I really, I think that's almost where I checked And then she out. drops off her salad. No, go to 59 minutes. It's, she drops her salad off to her boyfriend. They're both fucking awkward. She's a boyfriend. Uh, she's like dating a guy and he's like, you dropped off my salad. Oh, she, she also is like, is, she's one of the people, oh, right here. Go back a little. She talks about how she texts people emojis and that's how she communicates. Where I'm like, you're an asshole. You look at this girl's face and see that she is just a piece of shit. <laughs> she's not even garbage. She comes from a good family and she's a piece of shit. Oh, poor man. I know. No, she's an annoying idiot. I mean. Watch this. This no. will really make you hate her. Smiling with all your teeth. I send that one a lot. <laughs> I've sent him that a couple times. 
to some people that I love, I'll just send like a row of emojis that's like a sunflower and a bouquet of flowers and then like a Shane star Gillis. And a <laughs> He goes, hey, you know what I like doing? He's all smash my donger. <laughs> hey, hell yeah. Shout out Riggins. Shane's my older brother. <laughs> to find out it's Shane's little sister. Then a pink heart and then a yellow heart and then a blue heart and then they know exactly what I'm saying. So it's great. Hello. See what? They, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I got lost in the legend of that map. What was the? She said she sends a bouquet and then a flower and then another flower, then a blue heart, then a red heart, then a green heart, and they get exactly what that means. What it it mean? means nothing. It means nothing. She doesn't tell you what it means. No. She says they understand that it means nothing. She's like the people I love know what I mean. She's living her best life. Lay off. Yeah, you're right. Wait, wait, you got a hard on for this chick, huh? Well, she's wearing a bandana. Christine, <laughs> did you just match with her on her? Yeah. Or <laughs> Christine, are you ready to see a nightmare from your past? Yeah. Go to a, go to a, uh, go to boyfriends in here. Go to an hour. It's just like these are the guys I imagine Christine grew up with. There it is. Maybe hit play. Yeah, uh. there they are. <laughs> there they are. Hit play. We have Cam. Go back a little farther. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> these guys are great. It's just three bros on a couch. Uh, that's been a big them. switch too. Surfboard. Like I feel like back in like. Like the nineties and the eighties, it was all about like who could kind of show more. Like <laughs> he's like laying like back, back like Biggie in that like interview it. where he's yeah. like more money, more problems. And he goes, and the problem with more pussy is like the more pussy you get. I'm Cam. It's like a little more problems. It's like my man Puffy saying, the more pussy you get, the more problems you have. The only thing more hand jobby than being named Cam is the fact your real name is Cameron. At least what his boy's name is. I yeah. totally had a crush on a blonde named Cameron. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, these guys really take the cake as far as the biggest, I don't know, individual douchebag is going to go between Kyle and Daniel. As a group, these guys are the fucking hottest block, the hottest group on the... They do so hard, they broke their heels. Stop it. <laughs> Serenading people, like showing up yeah. outside of windows with boom boxes or like bringing people flowers, like huge, ridiculous... Things of flowers like out in public. I feel like it's definitely way not like casual, Why is he but talking like way that? more like. I feel like I can, I can see that his nostrils aren't clogged. Yeah. He's showing them to me. And it's so like, I, I totally forgot that my nostrils were actually uh, they open up into my esophagus. So the way I talk is like, oh, <laughs> so, you know, I've I've retained so much salt water in my kidneys <laughs> that actually it shut down. Because so this documentary is going to be pretty gnar. <laughs> you know, it's pretty insane. Like, like literally, they had to peel me out of my wetsuit before this interview, I am, like, burnt. I've gotten laid. Hang on, I'll tell you oh, exactly. On. Hang on. Oh. Am I getting laid right now? I'm not even looking down at my dick, but it feels all squishy like it does when I'm getting laid. Are you counting every time I squirt it off? Oh, or are dude. you just saying, like... Whatever. You know, my nickname is Tommy Gun, right? I just, like, <laughs> shit lot after lot after lot <laughs> after lot. On their backs. Their on, their box, on, their on their boobs. On their beds. On their boobies. <laughs> on their on, boobs. On their fucking ankles. Because whatever, I got it like that. Bradley Noel was a genius. Their butts. I, um, I want to I wanna watch these guys uninterrupted. So can we take our break? Take a break. Our last break, I guess. Come back. We'll, we'll come back with more douchebags Thank from you. the beach. Thank you, Dad. It's the bonfire watching Swiped, the HBO documentary. Uh, we'll be right back. Crackle, crackle. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's what they call a cold rejoin. It's the bonfire. Coming to Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Watch sick. Fuck. Sicky. Yeah. I don't even know. This is... We got to go much deeper on we this. Used to, right, we used to steal bikes. And, and I don't know if you know this, but I thought about robbing banks as the ex-presidents. Uh, to catch you up, we're watching... <laughs> the feeling on a beach cruiser is a feeling like... No. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever watched the sun dip into the Pacific, but it is fucking epic. Uh, the documentary swiped on HBO. We're running out of time for this episode, so we have to come back and watch it next week with Tim Dillon on our pre-tape. Uh-oh. And we get to get to get all the gay stuff with Tim Dillon. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. And we got more beach. Give me another line of these fucking surfers, though. Again, we're watching Swipe, the documentary at HBO, at the Bonfire SXM. We'll tweet out pictures and shit of all the stuff we're talking about. We're right now. There's these surfer idiots that Christine uh, grew up 
immersed in in Southern California. That looks like a guy I knew that was oddly a Filipino kid that hung out with like white pride people. Oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Ah, Christine hell wanted yeah. to fuck all three of these guys. Yeah, uh, they did not want to fuck. Them. <laughs> yeah, what's his? He's, he's got a uh, hoodie on that says "Strong Water." What? Nowadays, like it's almost like <laughs> you don't want to seem like you care. Yeah. What if you do care? And you have to not show it. Like yeah. that sucks. Like if you do really care, but you're like trying to not show it, I feel like that kind of sucks. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Skyler. Yes. Of course, Cam's friend's name is Skyler. Why would it be something like George or Michael? Why wouldn't it be a fucking asshole name? Your parents. George is odd too, though. Shut up. <laughs> That's a good name. Why is it be Skyler? Why not Duncan or Octavius? Octavius is a cool name. <laughs> Octo? Call your kid Oc. Dude, I call Oc. Oc the doc. Yo, Oc. Oc the doctor. Going to be a doctor. Anyways, let's go back to Skyler and Cam. I don't, I don't know. I've never experienced something where I care so bad that I have to hide my care. Oh, what an asshole. Yo, you never felt that way. Okay, okay, Skylar. Uh, I remember All like, right, yeah. Skylar, you can throw me under the bus on this fucking documentary. Whatever, Sky. I remember when that kid took your mongoose. You went fucking ballistic. Do you remember <laughs> Fuck when? You. Do you, do you remember Cam when, was there. Do you remember when Marina went to went up to San Diego with someone else and you were like flipping the fuck out? Yeah, we were like, dang, for like two months before. I mean, these guys, HBO just went around and found the biggest douchebags to interview. Yeah. I mean, they're either a genius or the worst judge of people ever. Yeah, what were you saying, Jacob? I'm fascinated by how they vetted these assholes. They, went, they just probably watched an interview video, and they're like... like the, Remember how the real world used to do that? Real world just watched videotapes of shitheads and be like, oh, this guy's perfect. We gotta oh, get yeah. this guy. All those shows, like when they would show you that, set, like, Tool Academy or Flavor of Love. Yeah, and you see their audition videos. They show you videos. the choosing process. Can you, real quick, on YouTube, look up Tool Academy casting videos? Oh, my God. Because I'm sure you could find guys that you're like, watch me drink this whole beer. Yeah. My girlfriend calls me a sex goddess. So you find it quick, we have to go. We're a, we're a radio show without a home. We have seven minutes. Well, it's conflicting views. Are these casting videos... God, I love this show. I mean, I wish they'd take it back. It's not, like, really, uh, it's just pictures of them. Yeah, they don't have, like, the actual... Wait, hang on. You want to hear him uh, go back to the guy unloading on the Jersey Shore cast? What a really hilarious... Uh... Oh, he talks shit about the Jersey Shore cast? I'll lift, I'll, yo, I'm, I'll, I'll, take me to the gym. I'll lift more weights in the fucking situation. I'll lift more weights. Situation? Oh, we have the situation. Do you have an athlete situation? No. 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 I'll give him, I'll give him props. I'll give him, I'll give him props. No, no, don't get me wrong. I'll give him his props. He's got a situation going on. But, <laughs> you bring me in the gym with those motherfuckers, I will, I, I will. You will beat them. them. You will lift, lift more weights weight than the situation. Yeah. You, I'll put you are better right than... Tools versus Guidos, the tools will win. I mean, if you, if, if anyone ever tries to tell me that they can lift more weights than me, immediately we're done in the conversation. Immediately I'm like, okay, well, well, good luck, dude. I hope you don't blow, I don't think you get a hernia. I say, way to drop the ball, VH1, on not setting up tools versus Guidos gym wars. Yeah, you idiots. That's a fucking Viacom Just on Viacom. Just have them talking to each other? Oh my god. Forget the lifting. Wow, who gives a shit? Don't you want to see these guys get in a room and alpha dog each other? Oh my god, for fucking... Are, are you kidding me? Imagine if Sammy Sweetheart Hey, yo, look at this guy crying over in the corner. Hey, Ronnie, what you over there crying about, huh? Yeah. You must you should, you should be on Tool Academy with that body, don't you? Yeah, hey, Ronnie starts sniffing his butt. <laughs> <laughs> who you? Who you, bro? Who you, bro? My who you, bro? My documentary is... It- the people they get negates the whole point of the documentary. You don't like anyone on this documentary. You don't feel compassion for them. Maybe the whole point of the documentary is you shouldn't so, get on. You wouldn't have fucked uh, them, they, there? <laughs> you know, the girl. Her, it, if. What about the girl that. <laughs> Mr. What about Mysterio? The girl, what about the girl that, uh, <laughs> you know, she shaped, she's a shapeshifter? What about the one, uh, what about Those the girl? G- Her name's an upside down question mark. <laughs> yeah. She's like a Batman villain. Uh, what, what about the girl that, uh, Texas Tool met up with? Daniel. That hot girl. Remember? She has a lot of cats. She lived on a farm. She was cute. She never birthed a goat. She never laid to any, uh, famous she, Indians, but still. You know, she's up there. Nothing? Yeah. The, the first girl, the one with the who birthed the goat. Yeah, but she was... 
I tell you what, you, you think you'd want to fuck Shane Gillis' uh, sister, but... That's yeah, little Shane. I like more. I'm with Lou on that one. As you like little Shane girls, with uh, all, with the emojis when she starts crying about. Didn't see that. Oh my lord! She's like, right now I'm going to get emotional. Like, you go on these apps trying to find love, and, uh, and all you find is Lou Witzke trying to convince me to come to the the outside Teaneck, Witzke. New Jersey. He doubts if I'm a cam girl or a real person. <laughs> <laughs> He's He's filled with doubt. To pick one in the in this film. Yeah. <laughs> They're all awful. That's all right. Fair enough. That is fair. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a part two on The Lost Tapes next Thursday with Tim Dillon. Uh, right now, what you need to go do is if you live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, go get tickets to see Big J at the Comic Strip, October 18th through the 20th. Then if you're in Phoenix, Arizona, get tickets or passes to the All Things Comedy Festival, October 26th and 27th. Big J is going to be there doing some theater shows, doing Ari Shafir's renamed storytelling show, uh, What's Your Fucking Deal? That's all going on. Comedy all Jam. Comedy Jam, All Things Comedy Festival, October 26th and 27th. At, go get tickets at BigJComedy.com and set your calendar, October 30th. Big J's Netflix special coming out. It's part of the Jets. So write it down your calendar and make sure you stream that shit. Uh, Dan is going to be tonight mm -hmm. uh, in oh, yeah. Washington, D.C. Uh, through Saturday. And then at Magoobies, uh, that's going to be a DC Draft House, I'm sorry. And that's, uh, and then on Sunday, he's going to be at Magoobies in Maryland. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's all this weekend. After that, he's going to be in San Diego at the American Comedy Company, October 19th and 20th. That's only Friday and Saturday. So make sure you get your tickets now. There's uh, less show than there was supposed to be. So for tickets and all their tour dates, go to dansoder.com. Also, Best of the Bonfire, our podcast. It's the Friday show that airs here. Uh, as a podcast available uh, right now, wherever you download podcasts from, subscribe, rate, review, give us five star reviews. Uh, let us know that you're uh, listening, so we can track that. And also, our videos available on Comedy Central's YouTube page up every week. You can visit it uh, and see the whole playlist on cc.com/slash Bonfire YouTube. Follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. On behalf of the whole crew. We love y'all, motherfuckers. Love Catch you, you live next mother week. fuckers. Crackle, crackle. Bombs. Woo! <laughs> the Lost Tapes. It's lit. It's time for America's favorite game show. What's on TV? In the background. Wow, they're fucking! Here's your host, Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. So, Bobby, Donna are here with us, guys. And what, what they're going to do is, this game we play, is Justin and Sarah send us an audio clip of them having sex. In the background, video amidst her moans and screams and cries for help while Justin holds, uh, God knows, a Bowie knife up to her neck. He uh, he cut her bra off with a Rambo knife in the last video. God knows what's going on. in a bad on. way. Right. In a no. good way. Right. It was aggressively sexual. Yeah. What we do is we listen in the background to what's playing on the TV and if we can guess what movie is playing, it's always a movie, mm -hmm. if we can guess what movie is playing, as these two just make sweet balls to ass slap in love in, Ground the back, and in the back of a 18-wheeler cab. Oh, uh, by the way, spacious, too. So they got spacious. room to bang. Oh, no. I, it's I a full-size bed. I straight up thought it was a guest room in a double wide. <laughs> it makes uh, Dan's the room he lived in for eight years look like a goddamn hunk <laughs> of shit. I should have lived in a truck for eight years. Well, you know. And delivered you're, stuff. You're just not willing to take cream pies, and that's what you got to be willing to do if you want to play this cross-country game with Justin. <laughs> I'm just too vanilla sitting in my room without windows. <laughs> Just window lit, window room, just watching the sun never peek through those blinds. But it's just audio. Uh, 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 Sarah, shut up. You know it? Uh, Donna, you know it? I have no Little idea. Shop of Horrors. Is that Little Shop of Horrors? Damn. Yeah! yeah. Good that job, was, Donna. It was, it was Little Shop of Horrors? Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. Nice. yeah. The, black and white. the black and white version. <laughs> oh, wow. Good <laughs> for you, Donna. Do Donna. Not. Nailed that was it! Fantastic! I have to win. Justin, Sarah, thank you guys so much for uh, calling back. Justin, make sure you uh, 
stay awake at the wheel and make sure you uh, always use your turn signal. Big Jokerson, Dan Soder. Bam, stand We're hanging out with Garen James, again, the CEO of Cowboys for Angels. It's CowboysForAngels.com is the website, right? Well, you know what they could do? You know what Cowboys for Angels could uh, do is hire us as, like, closers. So, like, post, yes. if it does get taken to sex, post-sex we come in just to do, like, you know. Yeah, cuddle. Be a pillow banter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make you laugh. He goes, hey, you want to share a sleeve of Oreos? And I'll tell you some funny stories about growing up as a fat kid. <laughs> I bring in Coco, and I go, yeah, this is a Steve Austin t-shirt. It's pretty comfortable. Just get over. What do you want to watch? I go, oh, this bed is soaking wet. Someone got to work. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I want to. Like, uh, uh, don't worry. I brought my own towel. I lay on top. <laughs> I like when they come over. They come over, like, really as cowboys, just, like, spitting chaw on your floor and yeah. slapping you yeah. if you complain Morgan. about it. I go, morning, man. A young man paid for the beer. Shut up, you where old is, son where of is, bitch. Where's Armando? I would usually like Armando on Thursday. I go, well, miss, there's a little bit of a problem down at the train station. Armando ain't coming. But a man that can drive steers from over about El Paso to up to Golden, Colorado, well, I'm your man. I can't promise you sexual gratification, but I can promise you fresh beef. <laughs> I've seen what them things been eating, and it's good. Grass fed mostly. <laughs> <laughs> You're my cowboy. <laughs> Can you do the lotion in the basket? I mean, that's yeah, that's my this, standard voice. That is. I mean, do you right. hire for that? <laughs> do I get to wear a robe and tuck my yeah, neck? Voice. Oh, oh, dude, I'll God. dig a pit, dude. I'll, if you put me in the pit room. She's yeah, like, give me back my fucking yeah. dog. She goes, wait, yeah. what is this? And then you just, yeah, you shut the door behind her and then that song kicks on, the Lazar, the yeah. Key Lazarus, Goodbye Horses. Yeah. Yeah, and this is me, Chaps, going, would you fuck me? Uh, I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. Wait, wait, did you want the freedom package? Or do you want to, you want to help me move a couch? Do it. Do you mind? Don't you hurt my dog. Hi. I'm your, I'm Bill. I'll be, I'll be your cowboy. I'll be your cowboy. I'll be your angel. You're about a, what are you, about a size eight? All right, yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. work with that. Yeah, I could definitely work with that. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. You mind, is that, I need a camera. What kind of lipstick do you have? <laughs> All right. Goes, so, are you looking forward to going out to dinner tonight? He still has to take her to dinner. He goes, so, tell me about this function. He goes, wow, you work at this hospital? Oh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> was, everything was lovely tonight, Doris. Yeah. I really enjoyed the ice sculpture. Yeah, you know, I'm wondering maybe if you want to ride back to your house in my van. You mind helping me with this couch? Yeah. I guess you know your out. office mate Tim is a real handful, huh? Yeah. Wow, what's up with Gabby? Was it just me or are you catching those gold vibes too? <laughs> She'd be such a bitch, am I right? I mean, I could just, I just met her tonight and I could already tell. Oh, She's man. jealous of you. Yeah, you are so beautiful. You should dress up more. Uh, Gabby's always been jealous the of you. The reviews are in on Bill. <laughs> Great time. Bill, your rate just went way right out. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo, Buffalo Bill's, Bill's a cowboy for angels. He takes you out first before he does terrible things. Love the yeah. nipple rings. <laughs> Thank you. I almost didn't wear them. Hurry, Sasha. Bill, I'll be your cowboy. I'll be your cowboy for angel. So, where do you want to go further? The night is yours. Uh, why don't you pick? Wait, wait. Basement. Are you hungry? Uh, you pick, was she a great big fat person? My friend, my friend got a cowboy for angel. Was she a great big fat person? I remember. She was a bigger girl. Yeah. 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 Oh, dude, see, Jay and I were killing the discount bin. Closers. Think about closers. That Bring us so a good. to do well, Can we be part of like a package deal? Can you uh, send yes. like a thick dick Nick Hawk and then when he's done, like me and Dan come yes. in and like squeegee your tits off? Yeah, we <laughs> take like take bong rips, you? take I bong rips, watch Family oh Guy. <laughs> dude, I'm Vanilla Dan. You show me a right tit, I'm good for the night. I'm not wiping the jizz off, but I'll throw you a rag I'm and then go get us two iced teas. Wow. And then after she cleans up, when she walks from the bathroom to the room, that's where I get my excitement. I go, I saw her boobs. He goes, Oh my god, I just see her butt. She was her butt. She just bent over. I saw her butt. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to beat off so hard this later. I go, Jay, dude, this is so much fun. All right, let's take our bar rips watch Family Guy. She's like, if you want to go knock one out in the bathroom, I understand. He goes, it's not the cowboy way. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, miss. I'm a sheriff. I signed an employment agreement that says I will not beat off at your house. That is rude. And I, <laughs> Call me a snickler. <laughs> yeah. I believe, I, I believe that Cowboys for Angels stands up for a code of conduct, and I will not jerk off, even though I saw your super, super nice... <laughs> <laughs> Even though I saw your super nice movies in that nightgown. You guys' rates are going higher and higher. I yes. want to hire you guys. Yes. Yes. I, like, just come to my house. Hi, how are you? 